Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to catch up with cryptos that I've covered on the channel and see where they are as far as price action and maybe some updates, all right? So as you guys know, Truebit is a darling of mine and I'm just really bullish on this project. I still am, even though I have not covered Truebit in quite a while, right? So. I just want to get into the price action and then, you know check out their socials and see what's going on all right so with Truebit you can see we've got uh, 15,357 uh, followers on coin market cap and uh, you can see here that we're trading at about 16 cents and it looks like we had an all-time high of just over 90 cents and it might have even hit a dollar on, on uh, the Dex tools chart all right but I think that once the network effect kicks in for Truebit and the market realizes what Truebit is, then the, these prices here will be a thing of the past. Uh, it's a very, very innovative protocol with Truebit. Truebit, yeah. So, we're trading at 16 cents, and yes, I am still holding. We did have a bear market low of about 8 cents. And we've since doubled from that bear market low uh, back in early January. And if we check out their Twitter to try to catch up with them, we can see one of their most recent tweets from January 31st. New blog, check out our step-by-step -step guide for developers to build and use the new Truebit OS API. Okay, so that's pretty bullish. So this is a step-by-step -step article for developers on how they can leverage Truebit. This is really, really cool to see because like a lot of people's gripes with Truebit is that they don't post very often. <laughs> I guess a lot of investors in, in crypto retail, they just really want constant updates, constant reassurance. Truebit is still going. These guys are still working, all right? So working with the Truebit OS using the API, all right? Developers can now work with the Truebit OS Docker container via API. The following blog shows you how to get started by creating a local environment to interact with the API using a local fork, all right? So there's some interesting, interesting things going on with Truebit still. All right, I'm still bullish on Truebit, have not sold it. And like I said, Truebit is a long-term hold for me. It's just one of those cryptos that I have in my portfolio that I'm not worried about. I'm not bothered by them not posting updates every day. These guys are, you know, blockchain scientists. <laughs> this, the, you know, these are not, you know, so your regular, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but these are not just some people who came together and created a crypto company or project. Like these are mathematicians and scientists. They have other things that they're working on. And one of those things is that they're not really concerned about. I can't speak for them, but I'm just guessing. They're not concerned about reassuring people who bought the Truebit token to re reassure them that their investment was a worthwhile investment. I don't think that that's high on their list of priorities, to be honest, right? So yeah, Truebit, still bullish on it. And I still think that there's a bright future for Truebit, you know? So I told you it was gonna be a long-term hold if you invested in Truebit. Um, so you have to take that information and, you know, um, do with it what you wish, right? But one of those things is, uh, just in general in the crypto market when you have cryptos in your portfolio they move on different cycles not everything pumps at the same time in your portfolio so if you got an ai crypto um, you know a machine learning crypto you got a metaverse crypto you have a nft play to earn crypto you have a layer one a layer two layers they may not all pump at the same time it doesn't mean that the project is dead right the dynamic is similar to when I invest in stocks. 
I'm investing in the company, not necessarily the, the stock, right? So if you believe that Truebit is a solid uh, company, then you're investing in the company. Is the company still uh, working? Are they still, you know, working to grow and, and, and you know, increase awareness about the project? You know, make partnerships, so on and so forth. Yeah, they are, from what I can see, right? So I'm still invested, right? I don't, I don't care about the price. We are not in a bull run yet. Bitcoin is not broke 70k yet. He's still trying to break 25. All right. So I'm still holding Truebit, and I'm still bullish on Truebit. So shouts out to everybody who's still holding Truebit. And if you bought this dip down here at around seven cents, like a boss, salute. All right, moving on. Araya chain. Now, Araya chain, I brought to you guys at around one dollar. All right. And I could see on the KuCoin chart that it actually hit like 11, 12 bucks. So that was almost a thousand percent gain. Whoever bought after watching my review. All right. And I think that there's more gas in the tank. I think the AI narrative is going to be strong going into the next bull run still. And I think do think that Araya Chain could get up to you know 15. I see it's got some some major resistance at 15, but if it breaks past that, we could see Araya Chain go from 20 to you know 25 to to 40 bucks. So next bull run, if the AI narrative is still strong, which I believe it will be, I could see Araya Chain going to 40 dollars or more. All right, is it too late to get in? Potentially, you know, you, you missed out on a lot of X's with a riot chain. <laughs> if you're trying to get into a riot chain now, all right. Yeah, but I do still think that a riot chain is a, a solid company. And I do think that there's more gas in the tank, especially going into the next bull run. With the caveat of the AI narrative is still strong. And I see no reason why it won't be. But in crypto, we have trends and those trends come and go. And as long as I've been in crypto, I've seen those trends when they hit, they get shorter and shorter. It's very interesting, right? So we had the DeFi summer a couple years ago, and then we had the NFTs, and then we had Metaverse, right? And then we went into the bear market, and then we had small narratives play out in the bear market. And it seems like the trends get shorter each time but they're cyclical that's the good thing all right so moving on Inicum, Inicum, Inicum. Inicum is the uh, layer one blockchain that i brought to you guys at half a penny and Inicum went on to 10x that was another good call it went on to 10x if you look at the kucoin chart chart i believe it hit five cents all right so Inicum. I'm still bullish on Inicum. Congrats if you got in on Inicum. And I do think that it can get back up to five cents when the L1 narrative comes back around. So when the layer one narrative gets hot again, because everything in crypto is cyclical, and we got trends that we haven't even discovered yet, right? But when the layer one trend comes back around, I think that Inicum I think it'll run. I really do think it'll run. They got a strong community. A lot of people are diamond handing Inicum. And I do think that it will run next bull run. Now you might say, all right, Deuce, well, do I not buy it right now? Well, again, this is not financial advice, just financial awareness. But right now I would, I would buy a crypto like this because the narrative has not cycled back around to this particular asset, right? So now could be a good time to DCA into this asset, right? So for example, 1200 bucks, roughly 1300 bucks will get you 100,000 Inicum coins, right? So should Inicum get back up to 30 cents, you could turn that into 30K. And I think on the KuCoin chart, it actually hit like 40 cents, all right? So, so Inicum is still a good solid project. And last I checked, they were doing something with Ethereum virtual machine implementation. So, uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff going on at Inicum. All right. Now, 
Ojamu, another darling of my channel. So when I first covered Ojamu, it was trading around here, right? That was at the end of the last bull run. And then it just got decimated, went to dust particles. A whole bunch of people gave up, thought it was dead. And it fell as low as 0 0.002. And you see where it is now? It's almost at five cents. It did hit five cents a couple days ago, uh, if I recall correctly. That run from 0 0.002 is a stronger run than any other AI coin that I saw explode. Because just a lot of people were sleeping on Ojamu. And I did put out another signal or notification that Ojamu was undervalued when it was trading at 0 .008. So if you took that, if you took that call, you'd be up about four or five X, right? And congrats to anybody who bought at 0 .002 like a boss. <laughs> That was a good buy if you bought at that price, or even 0.004, because you're up 10x right now. And I think there's way more upside for Ojama. You only have 100 million tokens. Yeah, Ojama's doing some awesome things. Check out their Twitter. Yeah, so they gave us a glance at their platform. You can check that out on their Twitter. Um, Maybe I'll go over that in another video. I don't want to make this video too long, all right? But Ojamu is still making moves, guys. Uh, it's a serious project. All right, so check them out when you get a chance, all right? So where do I think it can go? I do think it can get back up to 30, 40 cents, maybe more. We're at a $4 million market cap, and I do think that it can get back to all-time highs, all right? Still bullish on Ojamu. My thesis has not changed, all right? So... Next up, we have Unido. Now, Unido, I put the call out on Unido at about half a penny. So now we're up about 3x. And I do think that Unido, when it wakes up, is going to run, guys. Unido is, it may not seem like it's a sexy project to you because it deals with um, custody solutions for institutions and multi sig technology right but it should seem like it's a sexy project to you because under the climate of crypto regulation and whatnot unido could be leveraged by many institutions down the road right well in the not too distant future to be honest so this is also kind of a play on crypto regulation with unido ep I think there's a bright future for uni though guys check them out when you get a chance and and see what they have going on like i said they're partnered with alliance block uh equi bank and they have some many many other many other partnerships and more to come down the road you know decentralized self-custody of your crypto multi-user wallet management analytics and reporting world-class security interoperability and multi-chain so they're powered by polka dot and their interoperable products provide you a single point of access to the entire DeFi industry running on multiple chains and here's the crazy thing about uni though is that there are uh, companies or even other crypto projects that that are leveraging uni though but you would you wouldn't even know it right so they're leveraging their multi-sig technology and maybe some other uh, features of Unido as well. So check them out when you get a chance. This is a sleeping giant. It is still heavily undervalued. And I think that there's definitely more gas in the tank. Look, had an all-time high of almost a dollar. I told you guys about it at a point double oh five, half a penny. And when this wakes up, it's at a one point two million dollar market cap. Literally all the tokens are in circulation and the total supply is no longer one hundred fourteen million because they've burned tokens. So now I think it's around 90, 95 million. If you guys know more about that, drop it in the comments, all right? But mostly all of the tokens are in circulation. So there are people who are just, the smart, the smart money is just accumulating, you know, tokens or projects, cryptos like this. They're just accumulating because they know what time it is, in my personal opinion. 
with projects like this. Not every crypto is worth accumulating, but the good time to accumulate Unido is still now, but definitely when it was under a penny. And like I said, there's more gas in the tank for Unido and I'm watching them closely, all right? So you can grab it on Uniswap, PancakeSwap, Gate.io and Buybox, all right? Now, should Unido land on Mexi or KuCoin? It's already on Coinbase assets. If it gets on any, or when it gets on any of those exchanges, oh man, it's go time. But regardless, uh, Unido and, and their product is, is very awesome. And the, the industry, the crypto industry needs what Unido EP uh, provides, all right? So you guys check them out, okay? So Tribe One, Haka. Now, Haka, I never talked about on the channel. This was an internal Patreon pick, and I put this pick out at just under a penny. And as you can see here, it ran up to three and a half cents. So it was about a 4X, about a 4X to those in my Patreon who are holding Haka, and they're still holding, last I checked. So all time high for Haka is 50 cents based on this chart. If you look at the KuCoin chart, I think it hit 60 cents, to be honest. But yeah, buying this dip down here, this was, this was a boss move, seriously. And I don't think that it's too late to get in, but if you were trying to buy 100,000, now you gotta, you gotta put up, you know, 2,300 bucks versus 800 back here. You know, so that's one of the things with, with the bear market is you have to make, you know, quick decisions. You know, granted you got the capital uh, because once these cryptos move off of their bottoms, you don't know where the bottom is. You just have to, you know, take a contrarian approach and either either that or a mixture of that and DCA, right? Because you don't know where the bottom is, right? So, yeah, I do think that Haka Tribe 1 still has room to run. Now, let's check out what it is exactly while I'm talking about it. All right, land to borrow and own NFTs. All right, so this is an NFT lending platform. And I think that there's a bright future for this one going forward. So if you're a fan of these kind of projects, these kind of companies, then you might want to check out Haka. All right, Tribe One. That is the name of the company and the ticker is Haka, H-A-K-A. -A. You can grab it from KuCoin and Uniswap. All right, so I'm still bullish on Haka. And I do think it can get back to its all-time high. It's just at a $1.5 million market cap, which I think is slightly higher. It's probably maybe around a $3 million. But I don't think that these statistics here are accurate. All right? But in any event, I do think that this project does have more room to run, definitely going forward. Moving on. Ecta. So Ecta, I did cover Ecta a few months ago, and it has dumped since then. Sadly, uh, I think Ecta was trading around a penny, a little over a penny. So I did exit my position. Uh, after I was down about 10%, I exited. And then I bought back in around this price where it is now. So I'm still continuing to accumulate Ecta because I do think that there is a bright future and what they're doing is pretty, pretty cool. Tokenizing real estate, it's one of those types of projects, right? And they got a lot of other things going on too with their metaverse and things like this. So I think Ecta is a sleeping giant. Now the circulating supply is a concern. So that's why I haven't gone too heavy into Ecta because as you can see here on CoinMarketCap, there's only 8% in circulation, 8%, right? So a small investment and we'll see what time does on that one, right? But you got a max of 420 million tokens. You got 34 million in circulation. So 8%, like I said, market cap of 149,000. That's insane, right? But if you look at the all time high, it's over here around eight bucks. So of course they probably had way less tokens in circulation, probably like five, five million tokens or some, maybe less, who knows. But 
I do think that Ecta does have a bright future. And just check out their socials. Check out their YouTube as well. They're always posting content on YouTube and on their Twitter. This project is still very much active and alive, and these guys have a lot of momentum. So check out Ecta, all right? So you can grab it on Pancake Swap, Sushi Swap, Probit, and Mexi. I grab mine from Mexi for the sake of convenience. All right, so let's see here. What do we have next? We have Fear. So Fear, I recently covered on the channel and it was trading at about 10 cents. That was about two and a half, three weeks ago. So it has doubled since then, as you can see here. 26% of the tokens are in circulation. Max supply is 65 million. Market cap of 3.3 million. All right. Now, it's trading at 20 cents and the all time high is about four bucks. So three and a half dollars. Yeah. So when I came across fear again, because I came across fear last bull run, but it was trading up here. It was trading at like two, three, two, three bucks. And so when I saw it again in the bear market, I said, hey, you know what? Ten cents. I like it. I like it a lot. So I went in and bought some. Where can you grab it? You can grab it from KuCoin, Uniswap, Gate, Mexi, Bitmart. All right. They got a lot of stuff coming up. They got Fear Films. They got a Fear Fear uh, Metaverse called the Fearverse, if I recall correctly. And I see a lot of, you know, good things going, you know, for this project down the road. All right. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. You know, it's it's the fear part of entertainment and a lot of people don't like the horror aspect and the element but i'm an investor and i know that uh that space the whole horror genre is very lucrative you know from from uh from film especially you know how many people like scary movies you know how many people like scary games how many people play resident evil uh, I go down the list of all these different you know scary horror games right and I think that fear has a, they have a niche. They have a first mover's advantage. I don't know anybody else in the blockchain space making horror, horror games, horror attainment, right? And now they're working on horror films and they're working on a horror verse. I'm telling you guys, and then you got that low token supply too of 65 million. Oh man, it was a no brainer for me, all right? So I told you guys, I treat this like a, a venture capitalist. So in the um, bear market, I understand that a lot of these cryptos will have varying levels of success. So I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. All right, so, you know, these are, most of the cryptos I share with you guys, I'm actually invested in, all right? And I'm still invested in fear as well, all right? And I think that there's a bright future for them should they continue to deliver uh, uh and, and, and keep going uh, you know so uh hitting their milestones and stuff like that so yeah i'm trying not to go over time guys sorry i'm looking at my watch i'm already at 23 minutes yeah so if you guys are enjoying this kind of content smash up the likes all right let's move on all right next crypto i covered recently is Cenesis one this is an ai play that is on the solana blockchain it is the only artificial intelligence crypto that I know of on Solana. All right, I covered this last week. It was trading at 0.004. It's now at 0.007. All right, and it actually ran up to 0.009. All right, so you guys can check out that review video if you want. Total supply is 1 billion tokens, and it looks like mostly all of the tokens are in circulation with about a six, uh, yeah, six million dollar market cap. All right. And you can grab this on Radium, Huobi, Orca, Bitmart, and Jupiter. All right, so this is one of those projects where a lot of people are just diamond handing it because it came out at the end of last bull run at about 18 cents and it just got decimated, but it's recovering. The project is still active. They're still delivering. And last I checked, they're planning to potentially launch a app on the Solana the Solana mobile marketplace 
right so you could see their app on the Solana phone that would be pretty cool all right so moving on gala of course we already know gala I was screaming by gala at like two cents and then under two cents and then it ran up to five just over five cents all-time high is 85 cents you can't see it here but I do think that gala has the potential to even surpass its previous all-time high next bull run why because by the time the next bull run comes around and bitcoin is retesting those all-time highs gala will have way more momentum bigger community more partnerships more 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 they'll have way more 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 and more utility for the gala token soon to be the gala coin with them launching their own blockchain so this was all speculation it's kind of like when cardano went from like was like under a penny to like a dollar in, in the 2017 bull run now the next bull run cardano was way more way more scaled out they had deployed way more they had way more partnerships they had implemented you know way more on their their blockchain i mean it was just way more utility for cardano and then the next bull run the most recent one it passed its previous all-time high i think it went to like three dollars and some change right so gala i think gala will potentially double next bull run i do i do think gala could could run to like a dollar fifty i totally think that all right all right guys moving on curate now i gave you guys curate at about three cents i put the the call out to my patrons at about three cents and you can see here it's at about seven cents you can see there's only 60 million tokens market cap is under a million dollars this is insane that this this is just so undervalued these guys are partnered with algorand and vra ferocity all-time high was 10 bucks still buying here if you're buying here if you didn't buy at three cents but you're buying at seven cents five cents anything below 10 cents for curate i think is a good buy but you're gonna have to hold this going into the next bull run i think yeah i totally think that where can you grab it kucoin pancake swap uni swap wobi and gate yeah yeah totally totally all right and so i had a special request from one of my patreons they wanted me to check out cross wallet all right now i remember cross wallet a while ago but i never invested in it all right you got a total supply of 50 million and it looks like these numbers here are not accurate so this is self-reported data market cap of 720 thousand this had an all-time high of like what just under 40 cents 27 cents now it's trading at 1.4 cents all right you can grab this on pancake swap bkex cross wallet the only wallet you'll ever need manage all your assets on any chain from anywhere without promises all the chains all the assets cross wallet is built for an interoperable multi-chain future store and manage your assets across five of the most popular blockchains with more chains added regularly integrated bridges custom tokens multi-wallet okay so it's pretty explanatory pretty straightforward what they got going on all right so you can see here let's see let's get back to their their uh roadmap here incubated by bluezilla well that's interesting okay let's check out their twitter 56k followers cross wallet is the ultimate crypto wallet easy storage advanced security and seamless cross-chain swapping are combined into a single powerful experience well the the branding and the advertising is still good 
I like the color schemes, the presentation. Last post was December 31st, 2022. So I'd have to pop into their telegram to see how are they continuing to innovate, right? That's the thing with a wallet. The wallet narrative, that hit a couple months ago and then it went just as quick as it came. You know, so wallets, it's something like this. If you get a couple hundred percent, I would be out. I would, I would pop it. I would just pop it, you know, because the narrative on wallets and crypto, I haven't seen it with with long lasting longevity, I should say. Well, nothing really has long lasting longevity in crypto. I mean, it's all cyclical. So, yeah, wallets, I've seen when that narrative hits, it hits for like a couple days or weeks and then it just fades. I don't know. I guess most retail investors don't find wallet, you know, crypto companies very sexy. Uh, even since I've been in crypto, since 2017 i've seen those projects have massive rallies and pumps and then they just they just fizzle out man it's really really crazy really crazy when it comes to the you know wallet uh cryptos but they can do very well if you get into them at the right time and right now it looks like cross wallet is down it looks like they're still building if i wanted to get into this i would get into it now because it's down. I wouldn't try to buy this during the bull run. I wouldn't. This is when you buy something like Cross Wallet. There's only 50, wait, there's only 50 million tokens. Can't be right, hold on. I see something here. Okay, so total supply here shows 489 million. So what's on coin market cap, that's not right. Yeah, that's definitely not right. All right, so that's why the price is so decimated. Okay. Let's take a look at the holders right quick. All right, so you got one wallet with 36% of the supply. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, um, cross wallet. Yeah, if I wanted to get into it, I would get into it right now. This is what I would do, right? But I wouldn't invest in this right now. I have some other prospects that are way more attractive for me as far as where I want to put my money right now. Okay. And that's just me. Uh, it sucks. Look at this. This person says, I lost a lot of money on this scam. This is an abandoned project. Don't waste your money on this. Yeah, sad, sad. So, you know, if, if you did take a take a L on this, hey. It's a, it's a tax write-off. I mean, <laughs> write it off as a loss, man. That's what I would do. I would totally do that. Just write it off as a loss and keep it moving. Don't look back. You know what I'm saying? If that's how you feel, right? But if you're an opportunist and you like wallet, crypto companies and projects, maybe this is a good time for you to buy and, and gamble and take the risk. Take on the risk, right? You don't take on the risk up here at 24 cents right if you bought this right here or at you know four cents and you rolled this up here to like 20 cents i would have popped it right there right but you gotta crypto you just you just gotta gotta learn from your experiences you gotta learn from your experiences and um try not to repeat the same mistake over again that's what bites a lot of people in the butt right that and not sticking to your guns the moment you deviate from what you normally do, most of the time the market will burn you. All right. And the problem is that sometimes we just get a little too greedy. We want to see if it can if it can give us a little bit more gain. Right. So. Sucks for those who got burned on this project, but I would pass this project up. Unless there was some interesting news that came out with uh, Cross Wallet, but yeah this one I, I wouldn't buy right now I, I wouldn't but that could change based on some information all right but it looks like the project is still going based on what i see on their twitter all right and to be honest the last tweet was december 31st 
and I'm trying to see if there if there's any useful information. So 25 more CWT testers are to be added to the testing group. Okay, so it looks like they have some event or they're developing maybe some improvements to their main net. So that could be an upcoming catalyst that could bring this token price back to life. That's totally possible. So that's why, you know, I would check their socials, keep track of their socials if you still kind of have an, a, a thought or a feeling that you might want to invest in this or you just don't want to give up on it. Try to see if they have any upcoming catalysts. If they're working, what are they working on? Find out what they're working on and see if you want to stick around for it. All right. Because, you know, it happens all the time with these projects in the bear market. Sometimes they'll they'll change the business model or they'll change the tokenomics. Uh, they'll rebrand. They'll do many things. Right. And, and sometimes those things can actually bring the crypto back to life and bring back investor hype and excitement. So, so right now we haven't even seen the, uh, the bull run. We haven't even seen these companies really, really promoting and stuff like that. That is more to come. That, that, that's going to come soon, right? So, so yeah, cross wallet. Yeah, I would just watch it. I would just watch it. Just follow them. All right. This is misleading. They need to update the CMC page because this is very misleading. If I was to look at this, I would see, oh, 50 million. Oh, man, this looks like a deal, you know, but I see those two red triangles here. See here? One, two. <laughs> yeah, when I see those, then I know that something's not right here with the market cap and the tokenomics. All right. So that's my review on Cross Wallet. Would I invest in it? Like I said right now, no, because I have other prospects that look look more promising. All right. So I would just write this one off as a loss if you got burned by it and keep it moving. All right. So I'm going to close this one off. And before I go, uh, somebody asked me why I was covering so many so many cryptos like. So. Last bull run the last bear market, me and some other uh, investor colleagues, we we all said that we should have went harder in the bear market, meaning we should have went deeper and harder and more aggressive into the altcoins. Of course, managing risk. Remember, nothing, nothing I say here is that uh, financial advice. All right, of course, managing risk, right? So yeah, we regret it. You're always going to have regrets in the, the bull market and the bear market. You sold too early. You didn't buy. You should have whatever. Right. But we regret it that we did not get more aggressive when it came to buying these these altcoins that just look decimated, look like they were just never going to come back because a lot of them, the ones that we we did, we should have bought more of. They ran so hard. Right. And it, like I said, all this stuff's like it's like lottery tickets. You don't know what's going to run and how hard it's going to run. You can only go off the information that you have and maybe the charts, right? So, um, you know, some of these cryptos will have varying degrees of success. Some of them will run really hard. Some of them will just run a little bit and fizzle out. Some of them won't run at all, right? So, so yeah, I, I cover a lot of cryptos and I'm diversified. I'm diversified. You know, we can't buy everything, but what we can do is diversify. So, you know, whatever your strategy is, if you're you're all in one crypto, or you diversify, what you trade, whatever, whatever works for you, do your thing, get your money. You know, I am not mad at you. Right. So many different ways that you can interact with crypto is all on you. I'll never say one way is the right way. And that's the only way to get your money in crypto. All right. So. That's why I cover a lot of cryptos, and that's why I am heavily diversified in my portfolio. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It went longer than I expected it to go, 
but I'm going to do these more often and I'm going to continue bringing you guys these bangers. All right. Cool, cool, cool beans. All right, guys. So check it out. Patreon link is in the description if you want to know what I'm buying, when I'm buying and when I'm selling. Check out the Patreon. All right. Or check out the free DeFi Moneyverse Telegram group. That link is in the description. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back soon with another gym. Do crypto out.